Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today I'm going to show you about the bootstrapping circuit design for high side N channel MOSFET. So let us say your MOSFET is connected to the supply voltage V2 and your load is connected to the ground. Okay, that means you have the high side MOSFET and in order to drive the high side MOSFET we need a high side MOSFET gate driver so how will you design high side MOSFET gate driver by using some discrete components by using resistance and capacitance okay so in some cases you might don't need the the high side and channel MOSFET gate driver IC you can use the discrete components and you can design your own circuit okay so let us understand first how this circuit works how you can connect the different components here and later i'll run the simulation and i'll show you the different waveforms at the input at mosfet gate to source at load etc right so as you see here let us understand first the circuit flow how i have drawn the circuit okay so you see here this is q1 that is npn transistor bc847 and i am driving this this transistor to the pulsating signal so the on voltage is 5 volt rise time is 1 nanosecond fall time is 1 nanosecond and t on time is 0 0.5 millisecond and t period is 1 millisecond that means i am driving this mosfet I'm driving high side MOSFET with the frequency of 1 kilohertz okay so this is the pulsating signal you might be getting from the microcontroller or anywhere and I've connected one series limiting register current limiting register in series R1 and this is the pull down register R6 then Q1 and you see collector of this NPN transistor is connected to the gate of MOSFET via via 1k resistance and at the gate I have also connected the small capacitance here C2 okay now you see this is N channel MOSFET and source is connected to R3 and R right and the drain of this MOSFET is connected to the supply 12 volt supply and if you see here three more components so i named is at diode bootstrapping and i named this capacitor okay you see here i named this capacitor as c boot so this is diode bootstrapping d boot and c boot and in some application note you might see that one resistance is also connected in order to limit the current current in the diode and the charging current of this capacitor but for this simulation purpose i haven't used additional resistance here okay to protect this diode and the capacitor charging current uh, you but you can connect one series resistance in order to limit the current of diode and capacitor and at this point of time if you see i have connected one more resistance and that goes to the collector of this Q1. So that is how you can design the circuit in LT Spice. You can connect uh, your components in LT Spice. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'll run the simulation, I'll run the transient analysis, and I'll show you the waveforms how this bootstrapping circuit behaves the waveform at different different points. Okay, so in order to run the simulation you have to go at this simulate button so this is simulate button so i'll go the simulate button then i'll click edit simulation command okay so i'll be running the transient analysis and for this simulation purpose let us have the stop time or simulation time to 10 milliseconds so, so i limit this simulation time to 10 milliseconds so i'll click ok and now i'll use i'll keep place here i'll use this point run button once you click on the run button you see one 
when one other window pops up this is the waveform window so go ahead window tile window vertically so now you can see both your do circuit and waveform at same time let me add some plot pane so i'll add plot pane and let me show you first the the voltage at here so this is you see this is your input and pulsating voltage from 0 to 5 volt with the frequency of 1 kilohertz and if you look at the voltage at the q1 base and emitter you see it's around 0 to 0 to i would say 766 millivolt okay so that is the voltage you are getting in order to turn turn on this transistor and now let me show you the how how about the voltage at this collector okay so if you see here the voltage at the collector you can see this is the 24 volt with respect to ground this is the zero point you have some rise time here but it that's okay and if you see here this voltage peak voltage at the collector of this bc847s is 24 volt but since uh, you might have a question here you have only 12 volt supply but why and how you are getting 24 volt here so that is the miracle in the boost trapping circuit okay i'll let you know now this is the 20 24 volt you can see here between the collector and the emitter of this cuban transistor now let me show you the voltage at gate so you see if you measure the voltage at the gate with respect to ground you are getting 24 volt okay so so this is the voltage at gate of this mosfet m1 and with respect to ground now what i'm gonna show you i'm gonna show you the voltage at gate to source okay so if you see the voltage at gate to source let me run the let me increase a bit the transient time here let me do 100 second millisecond okay so that you can avoid your transient pulses look at this so if you if you look the voltage between gate to source you are getting zero volt and you are getting 12 volt peak okay so still you see at this gate point at this let me add one more plot pane maybe let me add two plot pane so what i'm doing here is add plot pane okay so this is the voltage at gate to ground 0 to 24 volt and this is the voltage of gate to source okay so that is very interesting guys you are generating a high voltage 24 volt at the gate when you measure with respect to the ground but when you measure this voltage gate to source voltage you get only 12 volts so how you are generating 12 volts so the charging path of this boost trapping capacitor is d boot c boot and through this load okay so that is how it charges once this capacitor charges and during other cycle this diode becomes reverse bias and it takes path from c boot r4 and you see you will get the same potential here at the gate so 12 volt coming from the input and 12 volt stored at this capacitor becomes the 24 volt which you can see this 24 volt between gate to ground you see here this pulse this is the 24 volt between gate to ground but if you check if you check your pulse between gate to source you see only 12 volt because you have 24 volt at gate and at the same time you have the 12 volt at the source 24 volt minus 12 volt you are getting only gate to source the voltage between gate to source is only 12 volt so now let me show you the the load voltage so i'll click it here and i will click at this point so this is the this is the voltage which is appearing across your load r3 so the voltage across r3 is 0 to 12 volt you see here okay so this is the voltage across r3 this one is your input voltage and this is your gate to source voltage your gate to source voltage is 12 volt your load voltage is 
12 volt and your input voltage is 12 volt so go so guys i hope you have understood how will you design and simulate the bootstrapping circuit for high side and channel mosfet and if you have any further question feel free to ask me in comment section thanks for watching this video